finally, I'm going to find the greatest common factor of three monomials. Again, the approach is to put these in each in factored form, find the common factors, and then find their product. Okay, so I'm starting out with 24 x squared y cubed z to the fourth. First, working on the 24. That factors out to 6 times 4, but that's not prime factored form. Uh, I'm going to go a little farther and take that to 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. And then I'm going to write it in standard form. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, so I've got the number. Now I'm going to look at the variables. I need to have variables with exponents of 1. So rewriting x squared as x times x and y cubed as y times y times y times the z's. Okay, next I have 40 x to the fourth y squared z. 40 factors out to 8 times 5, which can be further factored to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And that's already in standard form, least to greatest numbers. Okay. Looking at the variables, x times x times x times x, so that's x to the fourth, times y times y, y squared times z. Okay, finally, 60 x cubed y to the sixth z squared. 60 factors out to 3 times 20, which further factors out to 3 times 4 times 5. Keep going till you get 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. In standard form, 2 times 2 times 5. This is a long one, so I'm going to move this down to here. 2 oh, and 3. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. This is standard form of prime factorization of 60. Looking at the variables, x times x times x, 6 y's, okay, I've got 6 y's and 2 z's. All right, now I have to figure out what my common factors are. So the greatest common factor is going to be the product of those common factors. So I first look at the top one, and I have one, two, three twos. I have three twos here, but down here I only have two twos. So the largest amount of twos that I have that are in common is two. I have that here. I have it here. And I also have two twos here. Okay, let's go on to look at three. I have a three up here. No threes here. So that's not a common factor. Okay, looking at variables, I have two x's. Okay, I have two x's here as well, and I have two x's down here. So x, x, those are both common factors. Looking at y, I have three y's here, but only two here, and I have six here. So the greatest number of y's would be two. That would be the common y's. Z, I have four z's, I only have one z here, and two z's there. Okay, so z is also a common factor. Multiplying this out, the greatest common factor equals 4x squared, y squared, z. On today's lesson, we discussed factoring, reviewed some definitions, and discussed how to factor monomials. And I'll see you again soon on educator.com.